Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm the Strats Professor, and today we're doing another episode in our legendary Helm and Gorst campaign for Total War Warhammer. Chaos just came out last episode, so that'll be interesting. And when we have um, Carl stepping up here with a 20 stack, we have Thorgrim just magically appeared with a 20 stack here. Um, I assume he jumped over this wall. I don't know for sure. But we're going to have some interesting fights. Probably this episode. Let's see here. I think just fight her. Yeah, let's just fight. Let's turn her into a good little fighter here. Find me, grave. So I'm not entirely sure why we're okay. It was just oh because I was in the dash stance or whatever. So we're in the red, so we have to kill stuff every turn, basically, to deal with this. Which well, shouldn't be a problem, because there's a lot of stuff coming at us. The only problem is with the red duke, if they send a lot of stuff over there, we don't have a lot we can hire to compensate for that. But, we can play defense in our towns, and maybe our garrisons will be enough. I mean, we'll see. for flying horrors. Yep. We're trying to get to unending legions pretty soon. Okay, vampire. Okay, so she has a lot of good stuff. Um, one thing I could go for is soul blight. Lowering armor, weapon damage, melee attack, missile damage, and leadership. I mean, that's so good. The question is, will I ever cast that instead of a Nehekara for the healing? Is there a world where maybe I use Soul Bite instead? Potentially, potentially. Um, I would also like to get to Power Drain and Arcane Condo. It would be very nice. Um, other options, I could go for just give her more damage. Could give her a flying mount. It's definitely helpful. It gives her more health. Obviously, it gives her more like flanking capabilities. I do like kind of having her on the ground, so she's not like susceptible to halberds. But at the same time, um, you know that w that is very helpful on sieges specifically. That I could send her up there. Um, I already have a pretty strong ground game. Yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, go ahead and get her on this mount next turn. I know I was saying before why I like her on the ground, but it, it would be nice to fly up on the walls to have one extra unit go up there with me. Okay, so now we go. I think we go for the dwarves next. It just hope they don't see, like, attack this the first turn they can and burn it. It's gonna be super annoying if they do that. We could maybe beat them without that, but it's gonna be tough. This, how do we even we have to repair this? We can repair it and then cancel it, I guess. Okay, this was the guy that was up here, I think. What does this dude have? Scarecrow banner, old grumblers. That's actually really nice. I need right, well, more minions. Oh, go ahead and kill this clown. He's probably gonna run. I think we can still reach him. Now, is this a river that I have to cross to do this, though? Is there a bridge there? There's a bridge right there. Is that a... I can't tell. 
What I'm wondering is, if I chase that guy, am I going to be able to get back over here in one No grudge bearer would do this. Be gone. Grave times. I'm not sure if I could. These calculations are so off. I was like down 800 gold a second ago, and now I'm not. Per turn. Okay. So we're gonna come over here and protect this next turn. This place should be fine, but we'll go ahead and move over here to help with the public order. This guy has a 20 stack over here. Now he might jump this wall and go somewhere, but we'll go ahead and walk to like right here. Yes, that does save us some gold, and then I think we can hit Grinstadt next turn if we have to, or we can defend Oberheim. We have several options. Um. Yeah, I'm okay with getting a rebellion there. Who else? Who else? What else do we have here? One more turn on that. I want to save up and get that crazy building. Should be great. I mean, we have good garrisons. Is it good enough to beat Chaos? What do you want? Possibly. Possibly. Do I dare... go for an extra couple hundred gold by switching this over. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, I could hire up some of these in a turn and then just go in the red for a little bit, and that'd probably be okay. I could send him a vampire. I don't think I can get an extra vampire right now, though. With our lords, we can put one more point. Dark magic is mine to come. Like, I could put one more point in um, this and get one extra vampire thing next turn, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, I have it. sending a vampire over there would be nice. Let me check the rest of this stuff. I think everywhere else is fine. Okay, that one's almost full on green, and then we can get a little bit of extra gold there. Let us hold a guy disobey. You will fail. Damn. Come on, bro. We're supposed to be friendly. Why are you trolling? Chaos. Where is Chaos actually like us? Vampires. Huh. I didn't realize I could go, uh... Petty power games. What is it you want? Fun with that. I'm not gonna ally with the Chaos, man. I think we're supposed to kill Archeon as one of our win conditions as well. Overlord, choose your words carefully. I approve. Okay. I do need a trade partner, and he looks like the most viable one right now. Skarsnik! Skarsnik! Oh, Lord of Eight Peaks! Welcomes ya! I don't know. They only have one place left. I mean, they really like us. I don't know where their one area is, though. It's probably like one little place in here. That would give me vision of the area. I'll ignore that. But whatever. That's fine. Okay, so we're gonna work on Nagaron. Even though they're out of range for trade right now, I think. Um Y'all going for Aberheim? Oh, y'all trying to step up, huh? You think two armies are gonna save you? 
Well, we're about to find out. Avraham doesn't have an amazing um, garrison, but... I can also lightning strike if I have to. I would like to fight the whole army. I mean, you know me, I like challenges, even if it does bite me sometimes. We've won all of our challenges where I didn't get trolled. <laughs> that one where I misunderstood sort of the differences. Oh man, are they going to put me to the test? Are they going to like try to position to get both of these territories at the same time? Get off my territory, Chaos. Come on, Rose. Don't mess with Empire. Yeah, we're getting strong as hell now. Like... We do only have two armies, but these armies are... I mean, they aren't even worth as much gold as, like, the Alario campaign. I kind of want to pick up and do some more on the Empire campaign that I was doing. I know it's kind of awkward if I haven't done episodes for a campaign in, like, two months, and I go back and, like, do some more on it, but... I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll try that out. We'll see. So I think what happened with Empire, we weren't like in a super, we were in a good position, but not like a mega dominant position just yet. And it was just starting to get a little exciting when Chaos came up. But then like the new patch came out and I had to wait. Steel Faith was down for like a few weeks while they were updating it. And that's why. And then once Steel Faith came out, I wanted to start a fresh campaign because of Steel Faith with like one of the big things they changed. So I did a Lariel. So I was kind of like forced to pause on that one because the mod was under construction when they dropped um, Alariel and uh, the Dark Elf, the Crone. Two battles against Empire Provinces. Okay. I thought I already had that. I, there's so many things that just, like, beat Empire. So what are we doing? No. These guys are still in dash stance? Let us make do. Nine. If they siege this in one turn, um, they could probably beat us. You can't ask this of me. But if I have to choose, so I want Achendorf or Kara as a Karak. I want Kara as a Karak. Because it has the gemstone mine. And it has 10 slots. It's just like, it's really good. And the town itself gives a lot more gold. Um, I'd really like to keep both. This guy's in dash stance, which means he can't retreat, right? Or can he still retreat? Spread the rot. Not in my name. I really want to kill these things, because these are, like, very limited time. I don't think they get those back. If they're level 20, they might be able to get them back. They're level 19, so they're not immortal yet. What does this guy get? Plus 12 melee attack is really good. Plus 3 public order all provinces would be good. In theory, that's terrible. Oh, so I guess a total of minus 10% upkeep. It's okay. Yes. <coughs> Alright. Well, I'm going to protect Kara's Karak. Sometimes life doesn't give you great choices. You just have to pick the least bad choice. For real, they think... They think... They're heavily favored? Okay. I mean, what is the AI smoking? Like, how many times do I have to completely stomp dwarves before they realize... <laughs> might be a little off. Like, they have no chance. How the hell do they deal with the dragons? I mean, they have one unit of giant slayers. Now, it looks like they are actually set up, so they're not going to run this time, I hope. Please don't run. Just stand and fight me. To me. So we can make this a little more interesting here. 
We surpass Nagash. Guys, like up here ish. Mortis engine. Crush the breathers. Wait, where's my. Oh, there's the banshee. Okay. okay, now they're actually going to fire their artillery on me instead of trolling, so. The summoning begins. With haste. This this will definitely be a little more interesting because they're actually gonna get to use their artillery. And we're gonna just roll up in there, hopefully, and shut this up real quick. It is the giant slayer, so we wanna watch out for them. We gotta get those out of there. Get them out of there. At once! Death to the living! These guys into the giant slayers. Ugh. Wow, they are really resistant to that breath attack. Oh crap, I forgot to bring that in. Damn it. trying to 
fight me in hand-to-hand -hand combat, son? Maybe a little slaver for I know people just carry his cart around. I don't know. That, like I said, it just doesn't sit right with me. Look, I know the vampires slay everybody too, right? They could enslave people with, like, undead. But they don't have people carrying around carts. Or his little whatever. It's not only slaving, man. It's lazy. I don't know. Well, I, guess, I don't know the whole war behind Maybe there's a good reason for that. But I was like, Come on, bro. Like, look at these guys. They're just sitting here just getting beat down trying to carry you while you're sitting up here reading a book. It's not right. Get down there and fight. Why are these dudes still alive? Like, they're totally alive. They're like, please, can our bullets do something? Answer, no, they can't. Don't care. Too much reason. Catch this guy though. I want every hero to die. I mean, I guess that's cute that they think they can win so that they don't run away. That's good. I mean, the Brimstone did kill a lot of stuff. It's just, it just didn't matter. We just healed through it all. The Catapult is really good. We shut these things down pretty quickly. But the Catapult was strong. Um, this dude was pretty good for the most part. We definitely neutralized these giant slayers. Let's put heroes on them. Infantry heroes. How are we at positive 2,000? Like, this fluctuates so much. Our dragons are level 9 now. That's good. Another 20 stack down. Oh, cool. Grudge killer. They will all pay. So we just kill and stack after stack of dwarves. Eventually they'll run out of stuff they can hire. And they still have quite a few um, 
territories remaining, I think. But they're running out of armies pretty quickly. I think they have, like, maybe two more 20 stacks. They have 22 settlements. <laughs> Jesus. They still have a lot of stuff down here. They own most of this, I think. The green is something else, I believe. But they own, like, all of this. So it's going to take us a little bit, because we only have two armies to carve through all of that. But I think we can do it. This night, I'll have you speak now. Pray, you fool. Very well. Care about that. Malekith, what brings you before the Lord of the Black Tower? God, that dude's voice is so awesome. Now I know they can trade, but we don't have a direct route. What would we have to get to get a route over to them? So we have this. Do they not have this yet? If they have this, I feel like we should be able to reach. Maybe I need to be here. You dishonor me. I'm not sure. I hope I don't have to like take this or something. Anyways, alright, what do we got here? That's fine. That guy can hang out there. Alright, sweet. Now we have this. Sixteen thousand. I didn't realize it was that much. Holy cow. Oh, we need it. The extra vampiric corruption and public order is virtually priceless. So still have a 20 stack chilling right there. This action does not have my consent. Carl, really? You're trying to step up with some spearmen, bro? No. Death is only the beginning. I can hire one more thing. I want to round off this army. Wait, how how did this all of a sudden get really good stuff? Wasn't I sitting here a second ago? Uh, do I have... Balefire. Maybe I was just looking at the wrong thing. Probably one of these, right? A nice Fargulf in one turn. Give everybody that... Plus, uh, whatever, five melee attack. That makes sense to me. Can I assist you? Alright, Carl, Master let's do it. You, you guys wanna... Let's come over here and poke the bear? Blood. Mess with the bull, you get the horns, man. As Alistar would say from League of Legends. Um, yeah, I think we can definitely fight this. Carl's only level 8. Come on, Carl, are you being for real? Yeah, it only lasts 33 seconds. Everybody gets 26 melee attack, though. That's, that's pretty good. These Reich's Guard are pretty strong. I'm pretty sure that my dudes are better, though. They have 90 charge, 121. They have 126. They Melee attack is only 42, though. My melee attack is like 53 plus 20. It's way higher. There's 60 of them in a stack, though. I'm, I still think that Blood Knights just chew through them. But I guess we'll see. Yeah, I think I want to do this, and I don't even want to use the garrison. If I can help it. Just, like, not even deploy the garrison. I could lightning strike it and just, like, completely murder him. But I'll fight them all. Just for funsies. We'll see. And they do have some Empire Knights, too. Like, the, um... Decent little squad. I, I still think Blood Knights are going to shred them. And Terror Geist is going to... It was at 50, 60 bonus versus large. Let's do it. Let's 
Is this our first uh, fight against Empire? Hell, even the Zombie Dragon and the Vargulf, I think, will tear up their knights. I mean, those knights are good, but I'm really not, like, at this point, I'm not super scared of Empire unless they have demigriffs with halberds. Demigriffs with halberds are for real. Those things are really, really strong. Those might be able to beat um, vampires. I'm not sure. I want to gamble. I think we'll just keep it. Okay, so they have a pretty decent little setup here. Why are they... And they're getting their reinforcements from over there. I'm okay with that. Your desire? Vampire. So she's the real deal. This is the, like, okay, you know. We'll put her... Eight. Make her my seven. Which is kind of awkward, but I want to put them in different groups so that it's just easier, just with, like, one click to manage their cooldowns a little better. What do these new guys look like? Blood Dragon Warriors. That's cool. Like, they designed these themselves. I don't think these are in the base or in, like, the expansion. I think this is designed in-house for this mod. I think, unless they added them. With, like, um, one of the expansions. Did they really? There's no way they designed this with just the Steel Faith mod, did they? I mean, they designed the dragons, I think. Maybe they did do it themselves. I don't know. Either way, it's pretty cool looking. Just a four group. Uh, we don't really have a monstrous group here. Mortis engine. Like we did with the other squad. Of, like, Vargulfs and stuff. Maybe? Okay, we'll make this the monstrous group. How about that? Alright, what? What did I do? Put something in the wrong group. Oh, yeah, 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 right here. I'm a little worried, because, like, if we fight them in the forest, then our large units will suffer penalties, but so will all of their horses, so I think that's fine. And my infantry is way better than their infantry, so I'm okay with that. They don't have any artillery. I think, honestly, we can just do the run at them up here, and then just redeploy as we see fit after that. I don't think we have to do anything fancy with the time. Let's go. I'm deliberately not using those reinforcements just to make it a more interesting fight. They do have a lot of units, though. I mean, maybe this is foolhardy. I'm gonna switch these over to a different number just because I don't want them on the front line necessarily. guys doing, bro? Why are they running? I don't know why they're running away. Maybe they don't want to fight me in the forest. I'm not really sure like, what's up with that. No, 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 no. Okay, we're going in. I don't know why that's going on, but... For some reason, our dude, I don't, maybe they baited us over here.
this engine. So much death. I'm gonna tear up that back line. Let's go get these uh like range units over here. Come on, go, 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 get in there. Ancient power is rising. All before us will finish. Are these units just like not fighting? They're just like standing still. Come on, bros, let's go. We are the new order. At once. It is kind of annoying how like sometimes even when like a unit is fighting, like when someone's hitting me, they don't try to hit back. Yeah, we might lose. Yeah, we lost a Manchu there. Oh, that was Carl. It was just like face tanking everything. How are we? What are we firing on over here? Oh, 
Why are they not all, like, dead yet? Why are they not all running? Does she not have the rod or whatever? It gives the extra. Okay, whatever. It's fine. Yeah, these Blood Knights, I feel like they were pretty strong. I mean, the dragons are <laughs> really strong, always. Race, not so much. They're a little on the weak side. These still did pretty well. Yeah, the race kind of got gunned down. Vampire. I, I still think they're interesting. Um, this require a bit more micro, and they don't have as much uh, firepower. I remember when the Blood Knights were first released, it was just like, Jesus. Like, they were so strong. So it used to be a 60 stack that had some more stats. I think I said that in the last episode. Yeah, to the they, were, living. they were really expensive for Cav in multiplayer. They were like 1700 or something. But they were worth pretty much every penny. Like, they I need so, blood. so good. You couldn't have a lot of them. You know, you could have like one, maybe two. Usually I do it. I think I did one with like two black knights. Because you can't have a lot of those very expensive units. You gotta have your, you know, just your spears and other basic stuff. Remember one of the best human players I ever played against would use Empire Knights. I'm like, why is he using Empire Knights instead of, you know, Demigrips and things like that? He would have a couple Empire Knights, but they were just very cost efficient. They were powerful. He's had a good mix of a bunch of different units. Can we get him? Let him down, boys. Get these guys. Other dudes are gonna get out. Up to the king again and see what happens. They did kill one of the race, which is annoying. We think, unless it's like the dead rise again or whatever, when we get some more. Yeah, zombie dragons, uh, these things are just so strong. <laughs> these are so strong. I just keep saying that every time I see them, I'm just more and more impressed. Now, they didn't have a very strong, like, roster in general, but, like, there hasn't been a fight yet where I'm like, man, those things just really aren't that effective here. Now, they are very expensive, but they, they like the returns are so high. They just kill so many units. And because they're single entity, um, you know, they never lose their combat effectiveness unless they die. That's one of the big powerful things about single entity units. It's like they always do full damage unless they die. How does he not have any magical... Oh, I forgot to put all the magical items back on him. I was like, how does he not have any items? Oops. Because when he was going to die, I took them all off. Get an 11% heal. I think we're going to get a full heal, though. I'd rather have the gold. Death is no, we just straight lost the... Uh, we didn't get the Dead Will Rise thing again. Off the gas. Sigma forbids this. Now, what does this Claw of Nagash... What's its specialty? What does it do that's, like, so special? Let me see. It's on the expensive side, but... Perfect figure. That's standard. Magical Aura. Magical Harvester. Does it just have better stats than normal? How does it compare to this one? Okay, so it has more HP... Um, a little bit more weapon strength. 
It has one extra slot in there. What is that? Oh, it's got the chill aura. Okay, so it lowers the speed um, on everything by 36%. That's pretty legit. But yeah, I mean, we're not going to hire it. The regiments of renown, as I've said before, you need to be very careful with how you deploy those. Because they're very good emergency units, and they are very, especially for the vampires, because I can't field a lot of armies. Um, you know, I need to have that in reserve just in case chaos shows up with six stacks at my shores, you know, over there. Which is probably going to happen in a few turns. We'll see. Okay. Um, Flight of Doom. Definitely. Cavalry vehicles. Um, now, let me see this. Now, these guys, do they even, do they benefit from the bonus? I mean, they are infantry. They don't seem to get that much per level, because they're rank 9 right now. Rank 7. I wish it would tell you what their baseline number is. Let me see. Can I see that? What's their baseline number? 47, 38. Dark magic is mine to command. 38. Okay, so they have... They're getting plus 5, I think. Or is it plus 3? What is it? So they don't get anything from this over here, but they do get, I think, from this. They get 3, 6. Okay, so what was it? It was 38, so plus 3. Take it to 41. So they are getting plus 17 from their from 7 ranks. Okay, so they do get quite a lot per level. It's that green bar. It doesn't really reflect just how powerful that is. Alright. Necromancer. That. Now the dragons are going to get a little bit extra, and then... What did we say we were going for next? Oh, we're going to get Children of the Night. So we can get one more vampire and send it over. I could just send the vampire I have here over there. And then just hire something else here. Uh, okay, so the Gash Dark Shepherd. Raised dead cost is reduced. Leadership on skeletal units. Vampires are not skeletal units. Um, 15 wins of magic would be nice. Ever onward seems kind of worthless. Cabin vehicles, Vargulf, Dire. Okay, Dire Wolves don't matter. Cryptors, we're probably not going to get those anymore. Um, we could save on the Necromancer and just not get a Necromancer here if I upgrade this stuff. So we need four points from the previous skill groups. There's one, two, three, four. So that would be, what, four points, five. And then six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would take me to Arcane Conduit. Is that right? So we need what? Three, four, plus four is eight, nine. And I would really like to get Arcane Conduit. I mean, is that the best thing I can be doing? Just planning ahead for like 10 points, and then I could put a 10th one here if we really needed it. Does this stuff matter? This is okay, but I really feel like those Vampire Knight guys are almost as good as the Blood Knights, honestly. That's what it seems to me. I mean, that's pretty damn good. Plus 8 melee attack. How much... They only have 61 melee attack, and they already do that much damage, so having another plus 8 would be pretty huge. Master okay, so if I want... Life. 
I can only go up to rank 40, I think. We might get a couple of skill points every now and then, but we'll just plan on only getting 10. So if I only get 10, if I do 3, 6, 7, and I only get 3 more. One, two, like three. One of these items gives us something crazy. Is it this? To like Winds of Death? I've heard Winds of Death is really strong. It might be pretty good against Chaos. I mean, these are strong enough already. I don't know, though. Oh, that's not Zombie Dragons, though. Okay, it's only Terror Geist. Okay, it's not Zombie Dragons. Um... Alright, well, that makes it a little easier. Alright, so we're gonna start getting this stuff then. Let's go with Curse of Undeath first. Then we get two of these. That might actually be pretty useful down the line, honestly. 10 to 35, give 35 melee. Alright, so we'll do it that way, Vampire. Um. Extra point of replenishment, or do I go for the Hell Steed pretty soon? I think having her flying is pretty nice. We can wait one more turn, because it needs to be turn 17. Okay, and then we'll get this the Steed stuff. I don't care about the normal Steed, just the My super good Steed. Alright. Um, Give them death! Should just be able to auto this. Don't kill stuff. Okay. Got to actually put things back on him, so <laughs> let's go ahead and do that really quickly before we forget. Um, Shield of Tolos is interesting. Sure. And weapon. I, he doesn't even need it. Who cares? Dawnstone. That's pretty legit. I think they nerfed that. Minus 25% magic resistance. Now that will come in handy if we want to use a wind of death tactic down the line. Um, we'll give him a potion of healing because sometimes they focus him out. Oh, I totally forgot about this item. Great. Causes damage to self, but who cares? I regenerate myself anyway. Great improvement. Okay, we'll go with that. And then I need that on my main vampire. I need that forbidden rod. Yeah, that, that thing's really good. Enchanted item. Put the other trickster shard on her. Yeah, I think they nerfed some of these items for sure. Could get one more um, Terror Geist. We have another Veil. We could get a. Is that Veilfire? Unholy Lodestone. We could get that. Now, he already has this. But we could take him off of that mount. I don't know. He does do damage over time with Reliquary of Corruption. It's just. God, he's so slow when he's on that stupid thing. Um. We could get a black coach. So we could send one of these vampires on our way to go help reinforce uh, my, my boy over there, which is probably a good idea. 
Okay, let's go ahead and send her on her way. Like, it's nice having multiples in an army, but realistically, like, she's so much better if you... at helping out that other army, I think. It's because she can give that extra leadership bonus. That augury is huge. It gives, like you know, 20 extra leadership. Not that, maybe like 15 with when you get Augury plus the five that you normally have plus the additional whatever from her aura at the end. Um, you know, because she normally gives five from Encourage or whatever. And then this gives eight. It says 13. And then this gives nine. Yeah, it's like 20. 21 extra leadership, which is massive. So we'll send her over to help him because he needs her help. And then here Watch we can this. hire some extra stuff. Do I really need like a terror guy though? Maybe, I mean, I could just bum rush Alt Dwarf right now, potentially. Just I run over this guy and just go take Alt Dwarf if they don't get a 20 stack over there. Cause you get a special, I don't remember what you get when you take Alt Dwarf, but you get some special stuff. So while Carl's down, I could just run him over. Um, It's gonna be super expensive though to run an army like this. I think having one more of these. I could go for two Vargulfs. That's gonna put me in the red if I do that, but. Could just run over this stuff. We have to fight the elves to get that, though. I'm not sure if we're interested in doing that. Um, we can hire it next turn. We don't have to hire it this Dark turn. Magic is mine to command. Okay, so I could sit in Oberheim. That would give me some extra public order so that we don't have a rebellion for a couple of turns. Oh, I forgot about these dwarves. Damn it. Okay, I gotta go kill the dwarves first. I forgot about that. They're gonna backdoor the crap out of me if I don't do that. I just, I really want to go, like, get another cool battle. Um, but yeah, so we'll, we'll just go ahead and park it here for a turn. We don't have to have that extra terrorized right now. But if we want to go take Altdorf, we do. So we can grab one on the way out, I think. And Coach is terrible in a siege, so I guess... It's a really cool unit. It's just like, as with most chariots, I always just ask myself, well, why don't I just run another dragon? I mean, I guess the answer here is, well, it's half the cost. Um, and it is pretty nice at tearing up um, infantry lines. I mean, maybe having one of those would be good against Chaos, against Chosen. They do have resistance, like, against knockback, though. But maybe having one would be okay? I don't know. Having another one of these is, like, okay as well, just because it gives that aura to more people if you put them on different... on both sides of your flanks. Could get another Cairn Wraith. I don't know. We don't need to hire it for the dwarves, though. We can just smash them without any help. About at the end of this episode, too. So, okay, so Red Duke's chilling. Who else? Gorst. Dude's fine. Uh, actually, let's move him back over here to buy a little bit more time. Here. I need more minions. We should be able to go over there next turn. Hopefully, they don't kill it. Did I look at the buildings already? I can't remember. Waiting on that. Six turns on that big thing. I think we can afford a lot of upgrades right now. Make sure we have the money going on everybody. Did I see that? I wish it would have a little symbol to tell you when the money is like... Alright, we have to wait on that one. like to tell you what am I trying to say um, which provincial edict you have
Alright. Yeah, so Blood Dice, awesome. Grand Slam, or the, not the Blood, the, I always call them that, the Blood Order, whatever, the infantry guys, Grand Slam, they did very well. They took almost no casualties, because they regenerate so much. Blood Knights were doing okay, but really, they weren't that much stronger than the infantry guys, but we weren't facing, they had decent cav, too. Um, so zombie, zombie dragons are still the huge winners so far. At least against like mid lower to mid tier infantry. We'll see when we start going against like chosen and stuff if that sort of changes, but um very satisfied with the blood guys. And they weren't like mega expensive, like they're like about half as expensive as the zombie dragon. So zombie dragon is very expensive, but it definitely earns its keep. Um What else has been? The Karen race are kind of seem to be falling off a little bit, at least in those huge battles. They just they are kind of frail. They do have a lot of resists, but they're not great frontliners. They're like good flanking fighting units, um, and they are for the cost pretty strong. Crypt horrors are kind of out the out the door right now. I mean, they would be good and effective sort of, but they're not going to be as strong as the Blood Knights, I don't think. Okay, this dude's clowning. How much? We're at one minute and three seconds. Mystery meat. Okay. I've never seen that before. That's kind of funny. Chaos coming at us yet? We don't... Know. I, I'm pretty sure there are six stacks that spawn over here, but I'm not... Maybe they're going for this stuff. I don't know what they're doing right now. Alright. Um, well, we could do one more fight or we can just call it on this episode and just start off Don't next care. episode with two really good fights so Don't we have to fight these guys and they're gonna have a garrison also a little bit so we can do some dwarves right there maybe we go ahead and grab the longer we wait obviously the more gold we get but we don't want to underestimate them too much No time for this. Why? They have a lot of ranged units. Holy crap. Twelve range units. And two artillery pieces. And they probably have some range in their garrison too. One extra artillery piece. Jesus. Now these guys do also have silver shields. They block 50%, which is really nice. I think they got rid of golden shields. There was some things when the mod first came out, like some of the um, Dark Elf, like the original Dark Elf Dark Shards would have gold shields would block 70% small on fire, but I think that was pretty damn overpowered. <laughs> they uh, got rid of that, so I don't think anything has... I haven't seen any golden shields since the first couple of days of this patch. So I think they got rid of it. Maybe there are some tier three elite shielded things that might have it, but my puppet stops. Um, so we do have silver shields on these guys. These guys can soak a lot of that missile fire if they run up. I think. Let's go ahead and just do that next episode. Like I'm kind of itching to do it right now, but I really need to trim these episodes to about an hour. We've had two or three really good fights this episode. Death um, is only the beginning. Okay, so we'll go down here next episode. You we'll fight them. We'll decide if we want to hire that extra terror geist or not. Um, some of our units are still a little dinged up. We might fight it without the terror geist. We'll see. And then here, Let us make we should be able to reach this guy. Nine. I'm not sure if he can run or not in that stance. He's winded in battle. Either way, we'll run him off. If he wants to run and hide in Barrack Bar, you know, we'll go kill him in his home. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, we'll get our vengeance against the dwarves. Dang, for real? There's going to be a rebellion here next turn? Or maybe we won't. <laughs> maybe we'll have to wait. If he runs. But we'll definitely fight these guys. These guys are hanging out in their towns. So we'll fight them. <clears throat> we'll try to fight them. If they run, maybe not. They'll probably stand and fight. They probably think they can beat me. What the 
thought I killed all of these clowns. Maybe there's one left. What happened? Oh, he has like one HP. Come on. But anyways, um, we'll get back at it next time. So we do have a couple of good fights going on. We'll try to finish off the dwarfs here. Um, once we handle them, then we'll try to make a run at Altdorf up here fairly soon. I would like to get that Altdorf because I don't remember what you get, but you get something cool. You used to. I remember you used to be able to get those um, special Grail Knights only at... Corone, but now I guess you can get it over here at Musion also. Um, and you get something here. I'm not. Sh I don't remember. It might just be like a global benefit to certain things, but I thought that you could get a special unit over here. I'm not sure if that's the case. But anyways, you get something special for taking Altdor, if I remember from my Isabella campaign. So we'll we'll try to get over there and start working Empire pretty soon. And that's important for these quest battles too. I think we're getting kind of big for these quest battles, like. I feel like we might steamroll them, but maybe not. I mean, I was caught off guard in the Empire campaign with a late-game quest battle that I did. I thought I was going to steamroll it, and it was actually pretty hard. Um, but we'll figure all that out next time. So thank you very much, as always. I really appreciate it. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. Um, it really does help other people find the channel. I think a lot of people, as I always say, would really enjoy like good, pure, you know, legendary campaigns where we take on you know, high quality fights, and we're not just playing the game on hard and just auto resolving everything. You know, we're trying to get real fights that are real entertaining, real fun, real challenging. So sometimes it bites us, like it did a couple of episodes ago, um, but I think it always gives us some good entertainment. So help other people find the channel and enjoy that too if you like it. So thank you very much. Have a good day, and I'll see you next time.